Hey, good morning, my peeps. How you doing? Looks ready to dress for work. Go present myself to some people. I'm just kidding. Just me in the mountain and some plants. But I was just thinking about my video I made last night. And I realized today is Saturday. And I want to tell you the mistakes that I made in the first three months of stock trading. And uh, the big one, mis the big mistakes I made. And I realized now in hindsight, I'm so glad I, I'm so glad I got out of that. Now, what I'm about to tell you is very important. I want you to remember this, this is crucial. Okay, and this is only for beginners, okay? You guys that know about stocks, thanks, I just figured this out and I'm passing it on to the people that don't know. So, okay. Friday at one o'clock, after 101, do not sell or buy any stocks or try to even in extended hours. There's an option on some apps that have extended hours and uh, don't do that. Do 1 p.m. And then some offer you uh, like a one day uh, catch at trying to get this stock or a 90 days catch at trying to get the stock at a fixed price rate. I haven't made any success in that because I'll wake up and I'll, you know, cause it's, this is so new to me. I wake up on Saturday morning and I'll be like, why isn't the numbers changing? Like, you know, the dollar signs. And then I'll realize it's the weekend and you know, it's closed. Pain, main point of this video, this video specifically, do not trade or try to move money around on the weekends. Don't do that. Do it on Monday morning at uh, 6 a.m. or uh, on. Then you can move money in and out. Uh, you, you you can't have the option of moving it in and out real fast. Uh, but you need to remain on top of your balance or otherwise you can get charged in overdraft. And that was something that happened to me. I got charged five over five overdraft fees of thirty dollars a piece. I told the lady this is my first I told her exactly I straight up like I'm telling you guys, this is my first time doing this. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't know that like uh I thought I bought it. I did buy a pair of shot, uh, you know, two shares of stocks. And then it made me think the screen was the same thing. So I pushed it again. So I bought four pick shares thinking that I was buying two shares and that's what started the overdraft. So be careful guys, when you do things like that, that can screw up your instant deposit into your account and deny access, which happened to me. So I have to figure that out. I have to wait now like two or three days to get money into the account to use it towards the stock. Um, please follow me uh, on Instagram at TuckerMLO, or you can watch these videos that I will try to daily update. Uh, about stocks and my uh, experience learning as a beginner, knowing nothing at all, except for common sense, like I talked about last night. Common sense and reading and asking questions to the right people can get you places that you didn't think you could get to before. Closed mouths don't get fed. I'll leave it at that. Have a great day. I love y'all. And I can't wait because I have such an exciting 
uh, as soon as one of my friends come over, not today, but uh, we're gonna arrange a little like uh, conference between the two of us, questions, and he's gonna bring up graphs and designs and we're gonna explain things to you that you would see on your portfolio of a stock, say you bought Ford or something. Uh, you'll see what each thing means, what it is on the little like, below the stock of the graph it has a bunch of numbers and i'm learning them right now and my friend knows them a lot more than i do and we'll, we'll explain them to you uh visually too because he can pop them up on the screen and i can talk or he can talk and tell you what it is what we're talking about so it's a win-win situation i would hang on check it out you never know